planning is a future course of action. If the size of a business is huge, levels of management will increase. Staffing means right person for a right job at a right time. Hello everybody, a warm welcome to One and All. I'm Abhilas Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Rate College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to the session 2 and here in the session 2, we're going to learn something about functions of management. Now, what exactly the functions of management is? To know that you are supposed to know what is management. If you have not seen the introduction of management season one, that is a session one, you are supposed to go back and then watch the video. If you like it, please share it and tell your friends also to subscribe because Vidyashram is the only college which is doing all those things to the students for free. And here what you are supposed to do is you need to watch and you need to learn that is what the situation we have is in the pandemic the more we learn the more we earn is what the real motto is now here in this functions of management where we will understand about what are the different functions of management firstly we have is planning second we have organizing then we have staffing directing followed by controlling so please understand the functions of management though functions of management you have coordination and communication but we call that as internal function of the functions of management so basically we have the following has planning organizing staffing directing and controlling so please remember these things and i'll tell you more about this the functions of management is a process when i say process it is a continuous process after planning organizing after organizing it's the staffing directing controlling after controlling again it is what a continuous process that is planning will come and here what happens is what exactly we'll go with us one by one we'll understand what is planning so planning is all about bridging the gap between what you are and what you want to be i'll give you an example here say supposingly you are in 2020 and you are planning for 2025 please understand planning is a future course of action when i say future course of action you will only plan for the future and the present right now but you will not plan for yesterday or whichever has already happened so 2020 you are there and you want to do planning future course of action that is five year plan say supposingly the term here is five years now understand where exactly you want to be. So planning will define what you are and what you want to be. And it is a future course of action. Again, planning is a process. You are making a profit of say 1 lakh rupees. You are making a profit of 1 lakh rupees. And that to per month you are making it per month. Now, in 2020, you are making a profit of 1 lakh rupees per month. In 2025, if you are making 1 lakh rupees profit, is it a real profit or you are in a loss? Right? Try to understand this. Money value will always come down. The money what you had yesterday is not the same what you have today. When I say that, money value always comes down. So 2025, you thought that you need to make at least 5 lakh rupees profit 5 lakh rupees profit per month so what is that you have done try to understand planning bridges the gap between what you are and what you want to be that is what the 5 lakh rupees what you are and what you want to be and planning is always a future course of action and let me tell you planning is done there are levels of management we have top level middle level and supervisory level and levels of management depends on the nature and size of the business when i say nature and size of the business if the size of a business is huge levels of management will increase if the levels of management decreases that means the 
business also is not very big it is small comparatively so here whoever is in the top level they are the one who will actually go for planning so they are the one who will go for planning and people who are in the middle level they are supposed to take the orders from top level and get the work done from the supervisory level that is why the middle level is also what the managerial level where they manage the work and here we have the top level the ceos cfo the c class which we call it as uh, chief executive officer chief financial officer those people will come here so according to henry fiol now henry fiol please remember Henry Fiol is the father of general management, general management. He's the father of general management. So he says that planning is deciding the best alternative among others to prefer different managerial operations in order to achieve the predetermined goal, a predetermined goal. What is a predetermined goal here? File Acropus per month is a predetermined and it's all about what future course of action so you are supposed to go with a definition this is the best definition you can go for and next thing is generally speaking planning is deciding in advance now 2020 we are in we are in 2020 here right we are in 2020 here now what is that we did we decided in advance that is what should we do in 2025 that is what it is generally speaking it's all about deciding it in advance what is to be done that is a plan is projected course of action so the our projected course of action is what to make five lakh rupees per month this is called as planning hope you have understood planning is a future course of action which bridges the gap between what you are and what you want to be it is always in advance what is that you will plan and you are supposed to get the goal or the objective achieved next thing we have is organizing now organizing i'll tell you in a nutshell what exactly organizing is all about let's go with the same kind of example like we have we are in 2020 and uh, 2025 let's go with 2025 now we made a profit of one lakh rupees right and we need to make a profit of say 5 lakh rupees. Done. Now, what usually happens here is if you go for rupee, that is what the symbol is. To increase the profit, you are supposed to increase three things. Whoever people were there who used to make 1 lakh rupees as a profit, now if you increase human resource, you can actually get it so there are three things which you are supposed to do that is one is physical resources manpower and one more is the finance these three things are the factors and these three things should be there now organizing means bringing together these three things to accomplish the organizational goal and the organization goal is what five lakh rupees so that is called as organizing see your birthday parties whatever you have organized just understand that and then you are supposed to link now organizing it is a function of identifying whenever you organize something you are supposed to identify what are the job to be done who should be given the job and then how he should do it all those things when you plan we call it as organizing yeah, it is a function of identifying the required activity and what exactly you will do is you will do grouping grouping them into jobs assigning the jobs whom will you assign you will assign the job to the human that is a manpower planning and various position holder and creating network of relationship so whenever you go with assigning the job what is that you should do you are supposed to remunerate them that is you are supposed to pay them as well so your finance should be equally supportive documents as well as a supporting tool for them so that the more they work the more you are supposed to pay that is also a thing next is so that the required function are performed in a coordinated manner leading to accomplish the desired goal now what is a desired goal desired goal is to make five lakh rupees has a profit per month so that is called as organizing nextly we have staffing staffing is uh, very good 
example i'll just give it to you now here staffing means right person for a right job at a right time that means everything should be proper that is called staffing that is if you are very good in cricket right you should only play cricket you are not supposed to play something else so what exactly it is a right person at a right job now you have done your masters in hr that is human resource if i give you to perform something in sales you are not good at all so that is called a bad staffing staffing means what what you are good at you are supposed to do the same that is what the manager should understand that means the manager should know what is the strength of his personnel that is the staff and then he should allot them the work what they are very good at that is what staffing is all about staffing may be defined as a process again i'll tell you all the functions of management is a process staffing may be defined as a process of recruiting whenever you recruit what is that you will do recruitment means recruitment recruitment means inviting people to face an interview that is all done by staffing and then you are supposed to get selected right selected so this is what staffing happens recruiting and equipping the people to handle various position and perform assigned task in line with structure and the overall goal of the organization so when you are doing staffing again same example 1 lakh rupees profit in 2020 and we are supposed to aim at 2025 of making 5 lakh rupees profit what usually happens here is try to understand this you are supposed to select those people who can accomplish the goal that is of five lakh so you are supposed to only go for those things and then you are supposed to pick them recruit them select them equip them and then you are supposed to motivate them to work to achieve the goal that is called staffing nextly we have directing see the word directing itself will show that what exactly directing is all about a director think about a director what does the director do now bahubali example i'll just give you uh, many of the classes i have given the same example prabhas or whoever is there and he want to act right you can see the director point of view you can see the director effort now prabhas has done so many movies but he didn't get the glory what bahubali gave him in his entire life the reason is the director and the way he went for so what is this directing directing means giving directions guiding a person when you have a person who can guide you if you have a right person who can guide you definitely you'll be in a right track if you have a person who is directing you in a negative way you will definitely end up in a negative situation as well so a person whoever is directing who is the one who will direct the employees the manager is the one who will give directions and you are supposed to do it or your superior will give you directions and being a subordinate you are supposed to take the direction and then go for later what exactly happens is the main ultimate aim of directing is also what directing is a process which will go with a uh, giving guidelines or give or giving uh, guidelines things to the people so that they can achieve the organizational goal as well as the desired goal set by the top level management so here directing is an important managerial function though which management initiated actions in the organization it is a function of management which is related with instructing so what a director does he'll instruct so that is what happens here instructing instructing guiding and inspiring human factor in the organization to achieve the organizational objective same objective is what rupees 5 lakh per month so there will be the manager who will guide all the other employees he will inform them he will be very transparent informative will be more and then he will inspire those people to achieve the organizational objective so that is what is called directing nextly we have is controlling now here controlling is the last function of management but when i say it's a last function but don't think that it is the ultimate last here what happens is after controlling again planning will come because it is a process it is a cyclic process after planning organizing after organizing staffing then directing controlling again planning so it's the same course of action which usually happens 
So controlling is all about what you are supposed to go with two things. One is the standard, the standard and one more is actual. So when you understand standard and actual, you'll get to know what exactly the difference is. Standard is set by the company. That is, this is what you are supposed to do. Standard is set by whom? The company. Now in our case, the standard is what? That we are supposed to make a profit of 5 lakh rupees. That is our standard. Now you can make more than 500 right or you may not achieve that 500 so we call that as actual performance we call that as actual performance now i'll give you an example here in 2020 we were having one lakh rupees profit supposingly i'm just giving you a figure here 2025 we made seven lakh rupees profit per month we have already made right actual performance now standard is five but actually how much it is seven lakh rupees so what is this controlling if you control your system and you run i'll tell you if not 100 percent 98 percent you are successful you are in a successful rate positive nature but if it fails, controlling fails, whatever you have planned, organized, staff, directing, everything goes for a flop. That's why controlling is very, very important. And it is a function of management which will bind all the other functions. When you are doing planning, you should have control. When you are going with organizing, staffing, directing, you are supposed to have that controlling factor or else nothing will happen. So controlling is what? Comparing actual performance with standard performance so here actual performance is 7 lakh rupees our standard was 5 lakh rupees so when you compare it as 7 lakh minus 5 lakh rupees 2 lakh rupees is a profit that means you are doing so much good right you are going so much good so here what happens is if it is negative let's go with it let's predict like we didn't make 7 lakh rupees we made only 3 lakh rupees now again, you are supposed to go with controlling. Controlling is what? Actual performance minus standard performance. 3 lakh rupees minus 5 lakh rupees is minus 2 lakh rupees. That means you have not touched what you really wanted to. So comparing actual performance, comparing actual performance with standard performance. And if any negative deviation is seen, then you are supposed to take corrective action. That is called controlling so these are the functions of management so the functions of management are like planning organizing staffing directing and the last one is controlling if you have any doubts you can call us we are always there 24 into 7 thank you so much i'll see you in the next session until then i'll see you when i see you